Hello, my name is Hannah Spring Pfeiffer and I'm from Liverpool, New York. Currently, I'm a graduate student at Villanova University studying to receive my master's degree in American history and a nonprofit management graduate certificate. This summer, I have the honor of being a junior fellow in the Science, Technology, and Business Division of the Library of Congress. My research as a junior fellow has focused on the rise of American industrialists during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, particularly focusing on George Westinghouse. Westinghouse was a charismatic employer and an industrialist who really focused on fair business competition refusing to engage in monopolies or bank trusts unless absolutely necessary. In 1869, Westinghouse founded the Westinghouse Air Brake Company, the first of 61 companies under the Westinghouse name that would go on to employ thousands all around the world. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania was the Westinghouse hub, home to the Westinghouse Company town of Wilmerding, Pennsylvania, and the three major Westinghouse companies. They employed roughly 6,000 Pittsburghers during this time. In 1904, Westinghouse hired the American Mutoscope and Biograph Company to make a series of 29 silent films documenting the life and work of those Pittsburghers at Wilmerding and the three East Pittsburgh factories. These were collectively known as the Westinghouse Works films. They would be first shown at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair letting everyday visitors see the machines exhibited around them be made right in front of their very eyes by people like themselves. The films demonstrate the labor conditions at the Westinghouse factories and the skills of the employees themselves, who were often seen doing detailed and dangerous work, such as constructing a generator, as you can see here, or winding electromagnetic coils, as you saw in the previous video. In one film, a group of men work to forge a steel ring for a turbine, swinging the circle of molten metal around before jumping on top to shape it with a series of sledgehammers. The ring was an important piece of the turbines Westinghouse Electric used to harness water power at Niagara Falls. In another film, we see the entire manufacturing complex pass by as the camera and its operator ride a train throughout the Westinghouse works. As the film ends, Wilmerding appears, a reminder that the workers live and breathe Westinghouse every single day. Overall, the films were a hit. They drummed up more support for Westinghouse, which was already a very popular company, and the investors really appreciated seeing what they were supporting right there on screen in front of them. These 21 films remind us of George Westinghouse's legacy and those of his factories and the women, men, and children who worked in them, even after his company was absorbed by General Electric and so many others. Thank you.